Virgin Galactic is one of many companies owned by the multinational venture capital conglomerate known as Virgin Group Limited. Virgin Galactic was founded in 2004 by Richard Branson, who was also one of the co-creators of the Virgin Group Limited. Branson started out as co-owner of Virgin Record Shop back in the 1970s, and since then they have expanded in ways that most companies can only dream of. With the number of different industries that they have a stable footing in, it should come as no surprise they have laid their sights on space travel. Virgin Galactic has always branded itself as the world's first commercial space line and vertically integrated aerospace company. Along with their sister company, the Spaceship Company, they have been working on the development of what they call a new generation of space vehicles, with their ultimate goal being the ability to open up the possibility of space travel for everyone. They boast a world-class team of technicians, engineers and mission controllers. With this team, they have claimed to push the boundaries of tech and exploration. For about 17 years, we have been able to watch Virgin Galactic rise and fall in its position of the modern space race. Through those years, we have been privy to some of the company's many successes, but also multiple of what some consider to be failures, including some that led to fatalities. But ultimately, Guided by the idea of commercial flight, they have pressed on through the thick and thin of this adventure into the stars. One of their most recent stumbles experienced by the aerospace company occurred in December of 2020. Virgin Galactic had planned a test flight that was hopefully going to help them reach space or suborbital flight at the least. This test flight included the spacecraft they have named Spaceship 2 Unity. Spaceship 2 Unity is what you would call a space plane, which differs slightly from your typical spacecraft. A space plane is a spaceship that also has the capabilities to glide like a standard plane while it's in Earth's atmosphere. This is done by Virgin Galactic's design team incorporating features of both an aircraft and a spacecraft. I like this concept a lot, it reminds me of a space shuttle you might see in an old TV series like Power Rangers in Space. Spaceship 2 Unity was supposed to take flight on a Saturday, but ultimately that test flight had to be cut short when a failsafe prevented the space plane's engine from firing up. Shortly after this mishap, Virgin Galactic revealed this happened due to a computer that was supposed to monitor the rockets, which lost their connection somehow. The failsafe cutoff caused Spaceship 2 Unity to return safely to the ground. The craft landed without incident. Although Unity had flown to space two times prior this unsuccessful journey, this flight would have been its first suborbital flight from New Mexico. This is a required step before Virgin Galactic can begin to serve as a commercial transport system. Though many viewed this as a failure, some people, including the CEO of Virgin Galactic, Michael C., see it as a successful test of the safety measures on board the Spaceship 2 Unity. And that is something that absolutely should be taken into account for any commercial transportation company. Safety above all else. Though the company has had a rocky start, followed by an on-off pattern of success, in a recent test flight they might have just achieved the first step in a solid flow of success stories. On Saturday, May 22nd, Virgin Galactic completed what they call a very successful test flight. This was only the first of four space flights that the company has planned for this year. The Unity spacecraft was released from VMS EVE, which is both a carrier mothership for Virgin Galactic but also the launch platform for Spaceship 2 Unity. At around 10.35 in the morning, the VMS Eve took off from Spaceport America in New Mexico. It wasn't until about 10 minutes before Unity's release that it switched over to its own battery power and began to conduct electrical checks and make sure everything was working with the flight control. Once it was officially released from Eve, piloted by CJ Sterko and Dave McKay, Virgin Galactic's Unity reached a speed of Mach 3, followed by reaching space at an altitude of 55.4 miles. It was at 11.30am, about 45 minutes after EVE launched, that the Unity spacecraft reached its highest point for the flight, also known as the Apogee. After reaching its peak, the Spaceship 2 Unity made a slow turn and began to glide back into the Earth's atmosphere. The Unity made a safe and successful landing at approximately 11.43am in New Mexico, on the same runway that it had left to board the VMS Eve. Coglazia told The Verge that they are going through the data collected as thoroughly as always. He claims this flight was a major step forward for both Virgin Galactic and human spaceflight in New Mexico. This was also the first crewed test mission to launch out of New Mexico creating an excellent success story on two fronts. 
This flight is the latest step in Virgin Galactic's goal of space tourism. The Unity will be able to carry six passengers and two pilots. As of now, the company has 600 reservations for tickets on future space flights. Each ticket would sell for close to $250,000 each. The success of Unity comes as a fresh breath of air for some. The Spaceship 2 has seen a lot of issues and failures in the past, the most notorious of which occurred in 2014. The crash of Virgin Galactic's Spaceship 2 space plane crashed on October 31st that resulted in one pilot's fatality. They have since released that this crash was caused by an error made by co-pilot Michael Alsbury. Alsbury unlocked the space plane feathering system too early during the test flight that took place over Mojave Desert in California. The aerospace company also had to take responsibility for this failure after being found to have set the stage for this accident. The National Transportation Safety Board found that Virgin Galactic's failure to consider and protect against a failure caused by a single human error. No single mistake should result in such a catastrophic event occurring. During this flight, the Spaceship 2 broke into pieces during its fourth rocket-powered test flight. Debris from the spacecraft was spread apart across a span of five miles. The co-pilot who engaged the feathering system was ultimately killed in the accident. The other pilot, Peter Siebold, suffered serious but non-fatal injuries. He survived because his seat ejected him from the spacecraft as it broke into pieces. This allowed him to use his parachute and drift slowly to safety. It would appear that Virgin Galactic took the call for safety precautions seriously. That was the first thing I noticed when I found out about the failed test flight in 2020. Even though the goal of reaching space fell short, the pilots on board made it back to the ground safely. The computer malfunctioned and instead of that being the end of things and having another disaster, the Spaceship 2 Unity safely made its way back down to the ground. That's something to look at in my opinion. When dealing with concepts such as space travel, every possible safety precaution should be met. It seems like a stretch, but commercial spaceflight should strive to be as safe as driving your car down the street. Now this successful launch that we have witnessed earlier this month looks like another sign of success to me. The fact that they seem to have taken every necessary safety precaution, coupled with the fact that they have achieved their goal of spaceflight, including a safe landing, seems like a major step in the right direction. Richard Branson started something huge when he partnered up with Nick Power in 1970. At first, it started as just a record shop that they named Virgin due to the fact they were virgins in the business. Since then, Virgin Group Limited has expanded so far in terms of the types of products and services they provide. Most people will recognize Virgin Mobile, which is a wireless communications company that provides cell phone plans all around the world. That was just one of the many companies that belong to the Virgin Group Limited. But I have to say, the most impressive in my opinion has to be their space program. With multiple different companies looking towards the stars, it won't be long before we reach them. And I think that Virgin Galactic is taking a large step in the right direction. Being guided by a team of highly trained engineers and owned by someone as successful as Richard Branson, I think we can expect big things from Virgin Galactic. They appear to take their failures in stride, and that's what has ultimately led to this great victory that they finally achieved. <laughs>